Okay, it's here, it's here, it's here. I've got a, a new uh, brake light for my bike and my, and my wife's bike. LED, and it has a three round burst. And what it is, when you hit your brakes, it flashes really quick to catch people's attention. So uh, apparently it's plug and play, absolutely no instructions. So I'm assuming it's just that easy. So let me get you on a tripod and I'm gonna put this on hers. And then on my bike, I'm going to wire the turn signals up on the rear where they run, Here, here's what it's called. Brake light, running light, turn signal conversion. And it turns these back lights that their sole purpose now is just turn signals. And it turns them into brake lights and running lights and everything. And uh, if it'll work on mine, it looks good. Then I'm gonna do my wife's also. So let me get the tripod out and see what kind of tools I need. All right, I will try and stay out of your way as much as possible. Here, let's move it over just a little bit right there. to drop it, dropped it anyway. I'm sure there's something I gotta press or lift up. Hmm. Yeah, we get a pair of needle nose. screwdriver have to Google this because uh, I'm not sure how how that uh, comes undone so let me Google this before I go tearing stuff up because that's what will happen okay I I didn't need to Google it let me show you I looked at the other one the, the, the new one and the thing you have to press is under it so it's in this way and the tab that you need to press to remove it is on the bottom so there we go. No destruction involved. Uh, that's easy. All right, that was easy enough. Uh, I don't have any uh, dielectric grease, damn it. I wish I had got some, but. So, uh, I'm going to put this rubber, not this rubber gasket, but one came with the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount that <clears throat> and then uh, I'll turn you back on. Okay. Got that on there. Make sure I'm putting this in right. Yep. 
I'm not going to tighten this all at once today. What I'm going to do is, uh, oh, come on, get in there. Snug it up today. And then over time, put a crank or two on it. You want to keep it waterproof, you know. You don't want to tighten it up so tight that you're going to crack the little plastic lobes. Actually, it might snug down. I don't want to go too tight. I feel it with my hands, my torque fingers. Okay, that's I'm not going to tighten it up anymore. So, uh, let's have a look at it. I like that. I like that. Yeah. All right. I like that a lot. So uh, I am converting. Let me tell you what I just talked myself out of. I like my bike. But uh, the bike, the Harley I had before this was a uh, ultra classic. And you know, it's kind of the top of the line Harley. And way back in 2006, uh, I bought a brand new one and that thing was like $28,000. Now they're, you know, 40, 45. Well, there is one for sale at the same dealer I bought these two bikes at. It's a 2005 with 13,000 miles on it, and they only want eight grand for it. It's an ultra classic. And, uh, oh God, I, I had to make myself not call them and uh, go get that son of a gun. Here's, here's the reason. I, I spent a lot of money and time getting this, you know, the first thing, when you buy an older bike, I would never trust somebody else's tires. So the first thing you do when you buy an older bike is you put new tires on it. That eliminates the, the biggest threat to you is bad tires. <clears throat> and the second thing I did was put all new lights up front, LED lights, headlights and everything, spotlights. And, uh, you know, I had to have a motor mount put on. I paid them to do it. They charged me a half an hour labor, which was more than reasonable. Uh, oil change, got a fresh oil change, and, you know, I, I do like the bike. It rides really good. And the other day, I actually, this is a better riding bike than my wife's bike. Now, this is a soft tail. It's a lot lower to the ground. The center of gravity is lower to the ground, too, because it's a lower bike. My wife couldn't even raise this up off the kickstand. I was really wanting her to take this. And then me trade this in on that uh, Electroglide, but I'm not gonna do it. We're just gonna be happy with what I got. She can handle this bike. She can raise it up and hold it up if she leans it a little bit. So I'm just gonna continue enjoying this bike and uh, improving it. All right, I got another tail light I'm fixing to put on this. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm going to convert this, these lights. Well, let me show you what this looks like right now. See, my lights are on, so all I have running is the tail light. And now I can convert them tail lights, that's what this thing does, to constant running, and then they turn into brake lights and, uh, and uh, you know, you turn signals as well. So I'm uh, fixing to do that right now. Got the trunk off, and uh, right now I'm lowering the legs on these. Give me just a second. I know you're bouncing around there. 
Alright. Now I'm gonna remove this screw right here. It's a big Phillips, but I think a regular Phillips will do it. God, I tell you what. No idea where it went. Oh, well, I found it. It's over there where the 10 millimeter was. <laughs> Okay, let's get this seat off, pull up on the back, and then uh, that's what it looks like on the bottom here. Okay, I think it has a load equalizer. No, it doesn't, but that's all right. Well, let me get you over here to look at this. Oh, give me a second. Here's the new, here, here's the thing that turns them into running, turn, brake, blah, blah, blah. And uh, what you do is unplug this, plug this into it, So let's go look at the back. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. Now I don't know. Here's the thing that stumps me. First, let me put my turn signals on. I have four way flashers. I'll put them on. Okay. Now I don't know how let me, let me turn the turn signals off. Here's what I don't know. These are single filament bulbs. So I don't know how they can make these brake lights because I can't get any brighter. We'll see. I wish I, I can't see what you're seeing. So, oh, they do get brighter. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting that. Yeah, I don't understand that, how that works, but they did get brighter. I, I can't see what you're seeing, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to rewind it. Well, I don't understand how, how a single filament <clears throat> bulb can get brighter and not damage it. So I guess I'm just going to run with that, and, you know, if it burns anything out, <clears throat> it'll burn the filaments out and the light bulbs, and that's not a big deal. So that's what it looks like. Just uh, plug and play, basically. I will give you a part number if you're interested. This is an 04 Road King Classic. And when you're done, you, you gotta tuck these back. I'll probably go down here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Just tuck them out of the way. Okay, uh, I got a big cleaning coming up. I think my wife and I are gonna ride this week uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's supposed to be just fantastic weather. So, uh, you know, 70 during the day, 72, 73. And we want to get as much riding in as we can before winter is just too cold to enjoy. This is uh, the end of November. And, uh, oh, the second, what is the second? I got to go to the eye doctor. That's actually not the eye doctor, it's the guy that removes your Cadillacs. So uh, the second I gotta get my eyes looked at so they can know what kind of, what is it, the cornea, the lens, whatever they replace in your eye to get rid of Cadillacs. Yes, I'm saying Cadillacs. So let me get the seat back on and uh, I think I'm done for today. Uh, I am gonna take my wife's seat off and look under there and see if she has the same kind of hookup that I do here. And uh, if she does, then I'm going to convert her. I have red lenses. I will convert hers to the running and just like I did mine. So we'll both be more visible. And then over time, I'm going to replace 
the tar the tail lights that are incandescent that would be that one and this one and this one and that one i'm going to replace them with leds because they're just so much brighter and you know it's not so important in the front although i probably am going to replace them too let me roll up here and show you what the fronts look look like and yeah, run into the motorcycle dummy Anyway, I just just put new uh, headlights and spotlights on my wife's bike, and uh, they're nice. I like them. Okay, we're done. That's what that was my plan for today. I think I'll go mess around in the knife shop a little bit. See ya. All right, I just took her seat off, and she does have the same kind of setup I have. So we are going to ride over to the Harley dealer and buy her that so I can get the back end of both these done right now i went ahead and put the red lenses on my wife's bike uh not tomorrow wednesday we'll probably ride over there to the harley dealer and pick up that conversion kit for her bike and we'll be squared away on the back until we can afford leds leds are going to be <clears throat> a couple hundred for each bike so we won't have that for a while but we'll have m much better rearward visibility than we had uh ricky uh uses a type of cement on his leather to hold the uh, uh the pieces together the welt and the you know front half and the back half and i use rubber cement and you know rubber cement is okay but it's never been perfect for me because i find that when i get them together i do have to do some minor moving them around sliding the pieces around a little bit to get them uh, you need the welt to land underneath where you intend to sew it through so it has to be pretty precise and uh, my sheaths are just big enough to fit a knife in comfortably so there's not a whole lot of wiggle room so the rubber cement hasn't worked because once you lay that once you put them pieces together that rubber cement ain't letting go and if you do try to take it apart, it pull it tears the leather. So he uses Duco cement, and I decided to order me some because I think I'm gonna go to that. And uh, up to I think it's up to 15 minutes. You can still separate, move the pieces around, and, uh, and it's just a better idea than the rubber cement I've been using. So I found some online, and I ordered it. Only I didn't know that this is who I ordered from. <laughs> <laughs> when it came to me, my wife says, who's Fat Boy? And I was thinking, ah, uh, you're looking at him. And then I realized it was from Fat Boy. And uh, I thought somebody had sent me something and called me Fat Boy, which is true. But anyway, I just thought that was funny. I didn't even know that was who I ordered it from. I ordered it through Amazon. And I guess this is the company that fulfilled the order. This is it. This is the cement here. And the way I do it is I lay a thin stream down there where I want my leather to attach. And then I take a Q-tip and I spread it out evenly. And uh, I think this is going to be the, the thing that works best for me. I still got a whole tube of that rubber cement. It's barge rubber cement. Uh, I got a whole tube of that. I'm going to finish using that and I'm going to go to using these from now on. Okay, weird cat, you knocked over my cooling water that I used to cool the knives down when I buff them. You have been sitting up here, right up here in the dirtiest part of my whole entire shop, right here, because this is the, the heaviest uh, buffing compound that I use is right here. And uh, she's been laying there looking out the window. And weird cat, there are footprints in this toilet. I don't use this toilet. This, this, well, actually I do. This is the toilet that I uh, put her treasures in. Get out of there, Breezy. Get out of there. And uh, I've, this has never been cleaned. I've had this trailer for three years now, but I don't come down here. Well, actually I do now to uh, do that. Yeah, I don't know why she would find it necessary to step in that toilet. Strange cat. Ah, you just roll. You just rolled over. I guess I'm gonna have to keep the shop cleaner. Get 
Hey, I'm telling you, they do have a blast chasing each other. It's funny to watch. But now Breezy's an old guy. He's 13 years old. And, uh, you know, he's not good for a whole day of playing and running. And when he's tired and wants her to leave him alone, she doesn't get it because she's a, a young thing. And he gets a little mad at her. Breezy, I know that's fun, but that come off my polishing compound. And that's probably not good for you to have. So. And my trash can. I used to keep a trash bag in here. Well, every day I would come in and she would have played with a bag hanging over the edge and dump my trash over. So. I'm watching you. Breezy, why are you so attracted to the cat food? So anyway, I'm not putting a trash can in, a bag in there anymore. I'm just going to, when the trash can gets stinky, I'll just clean it out because she has dumped it over numerous times. And uh, I'm tired of picking up, picking up trash. All right, let me get started. I'm uh, actually not sure if I am going to... Uh, get around to working on knives today because I got so many other things to do. My uh, gas that I store, I'm working my way through it and, my, and by putting it in my truck. And uh, I'm gonna put another 15 gallons in the truck today. And I'm fixing to go fill the three cans up which will leave me with 15 more gallons to cycle through the truck and I'll be good for another year. Back uh, years ago, when the people that used to own this fell ill, I uh, widened this door here and uh, cut this bathtub. It used to be a garden tub and it, you can see where it used to come out here. And uh, so he could get in the tub, step over the threshold I put all these hand holes in here and I cut this garden tub back and down and then we put a curtain rod up here and he was able to get in and out with uh, without too much trouble. I widened this door. Uh, I did not widen that door. I can't remember why. I widened that door right there. And then I built these stairs and uh, the, the steps are only a few inches apart, which is why they go out so far. They were really, really steep and that door opened out. So I had to take the whole door off its frame, turn it around where it would open inward and then rebuild these stairs down here so we could get down there. And then he went into a nursing home and then he passed away, and then I bought this place. So I just thought I'd throw that in there because it might be of interest. <laughs> All right, let me get to work uh, searching for poops. I'm going to poop, Poopsburg. Poopsburg, Poopsylvania. Here we come. And again with paper towels. I will let her finish this roll. And then I'll, I'll put it somewhere else. Probably up up here where I can reach. No, she can probably get up here. I'll figure it out. Or I'll just keep them in a cabinet. I got plenty of cabinets. <sighs> having a cat is a lot more work than having a dog. You're a good boy. You're such a good boy. That cat, boy, oh boy. Uh, I'll tell you what. We build back any better. That's 90, not 40. We build back any better and I won't be able to afford to go anywhere. Thanks, Biden. And this is why I have to unsubscribe from Russia Today. Russia Today, Russia Today, Russia Today, Russia Today. Russia Today and Today. And Today and Today. So, there you go. And this is for sale still, 185.
and thank you. You know who you are. Thank you very much. Come on. That's a tight fit. Some of the oil is coming off the blade. That's what the streaks are. And the oil is inside there. I'm getting dizzy.